Hi friends, happy Friday, May 15th, yay, Friday, I'm so glad it's finally Friday. Okay, so yesterday I promised you a story about my brother. So I told you the, the Halloween story yesterday, and then I also said that I had another story I could tell you about my brother um, where I would have gotten in big trouble, but he um, kind of saved me. So I'm going to tell that story today. So when I was um, probably in high school, I think I was in like ninth or 10th grade, I was definitely uh, older. Um, I had kind of a boyfriend, a boy that I liked, um, and he could drive a car. So I know that I was probably like 15 or 16. And he stopped at my house to see me one day just to say hi. And I was babysitting my brother after school, which is what I did all the time. And my brother was kind of jealous, I think, and kind of he didn't like that I was paying all this attention to this boy. And so he kept trying to get my attention. But like he was doing it in that typical I'm a very annoying brother sort of way. So what he was doing was he was he had a squirt gun and he kept squirting it at us and I was getting more and more mad. And um, as you know, with little brothers or even little sisters, the more angry or frustrated they get you, the funnier they think it is. They think it's just great. You know, um, I, I don't know because I've never been a little brother or a little sister. I've always been the big sister. So I've always been like the one who's been just super annoyed all the time. But so my brother was being really annoying and he wouldn't stop squirting the squirt gun at me and, the, and my boyfriend. And I was getting more and more angry and I kept telling him to stop. And telling him to stop and he would not stop and so finally I like totally freaked out and I now I have mentioned to you before that I took kung fu for years um and um unfortunately for my brother my kung fu uh my kung fu fighter skills kind of like just kicked into gear and he wouldn't stop squirting me with the squirt gun and I was kind of trying to ignore him because I was trying to be cool and not like get mad or anything because I wanted the boy to think I was normal. Um, obviously, I had him completely snowed, but whatever. I was like pretending to be normal. And then my brother like wouldn't stop squirting it. And then he squirted me and he hit me right in the eye. Now, for two reasons, this infuriated me. For, for three, one, um, it hurt so bad. He like shot me point blank in the eye with a really like intense squirt gun, which which made me super angry, but it hurt. Two, I have contacts and it like knocked my contacts sort of sideways because he hit me right in the eye. And three, I was like super embarrassed because um, hello, like there's a boy I like and I just got shot in the eye with a squirt gun and I, and I like freaked out. I got really, really mad and my Kung Fu skills just kicked in and I just... I just whirled around and like kicked my brother as hard as I could. Side thrust. Look it up if you want to and you'll see the wicked kick I gave my brother. So I kicked him so hard and and like I kicked him and then he like spun around and like fell and hit his face on the doorknob of our of the house like of the door coming into the house and he hit right here on hit like right below his eye so several things one I should not have lost my temper and I did but I you know that happens sometimes like it's not good I wish I hadn't um two he could have hit his eye and it would have been a very very seriously horrible situation and it was still pretty bad but three his face like caved in right here like he hit the metal part of the doorknob and it made this dent in his face for a second so for a second there was just like this dent where he hit the doorknob and he was like shocked because I don't think he thought I was going to do anything like that I didn't think I was going to do anything like that I mean who are we kidding it came out of nowhere I just lost my mind very quickly but then the dent suddenly became this huge cut and like blood started gushing down his face and and all three of us are like, oh my God. And then, OMG, I hear the gravel crunching on the driveway and hello, it's my mom coming home from work. Oh, we knew we were dead. So my brother, my brother, thank goodness, my brother like realized that like this was totally his fault because he wouldn't stop bothering me. Um, and I think the only reason it played out the way it did was because he was afraid of getting in trouble. Um, but the reality is, um, my mom was going to kill me because I just seriously injured my little brother because I got mad. And um, and we both knew like we were in big trouble. So my mom comes through the door. She sees, my, I'm crying at this point because I'm so angry and so freaked out that I'm going to be in trouble. And I feel terrible because I didn't mean to like 
hurt him. I just made, I wanted him to stop shooting me with the, with the um, spray gun thing. I was so angry, but also like I was crying because I was going to get in trouble. And I was also crying because I was embarrassed and my brother's like bleeding and he's crying because he's hurt, but he's also crying because he's scared he's going to get in trouble because he's the one who started the whole thing. So my mom comes to the door and she sees all this crying and blood and she's like, what is going on here? What is going on? And I open my mouth and I'm like, and I'm about to say that like I kicked my brother and it was my fault. And my brother jumps and he goes, I fell. And I'm, I look at him like, wait, this is the story we're going with. And he looks at me and I look at him. And he goes, mom, I just, I just tripped and fell and I hit my face on the doorknob and Sean was just trying to help me. And, and my, my mom bought it. Like she, now Sharon Orkut, I know you're probably hearing this for maybe the first time. And um, I'm sorry that we lied to you, but aren't you proud of your son for like, you know, doing, trying to stick up for his sister, even though I was clearly in the wrong and I was the jerk. Shouldn't have hurt him, but I was super, super impressed. And I'll tell you what, friends, that changed the way I got along with my brother, like forever after that. Like, I, he'd never done that before. He'd never, I mean, he'd always stick up for me kind of, but he was little, but he'd never like thrown himself in front of the gauntlet to like take the blame when something was my fault. And he totally did that time. So anyway, um, that's my story. And I still feel super bad about it. Luckily, he doesn't even have a scar from it, which I mean, it would be a pretty cool scar, but um, I would still feel super bad if like something happened to him. So, so friends, if you get mad like that, it's probably a good idea to just take a time out. And even Miss Orkut has to do that sometimes. I just have to say, okay, I need a time out. And then I take a time out and I just go sit and I try to breathe, do your deep breathing. I wish I'd known these things back then, but I didn't. So I just freaked out and I could have really hurt him. And that was bad, but he was kind of being a total jerk, but that still wasn't right that I made that choice. So Anyway, that's my story about my brother sticking up for me, but also about him being a jerk. So uh, if you want to write about your brothers and sisters today, you can, or you can write about a time somebody stuck up for you. That's a good idea. Okay, well, happy Friday. I hope you guys have a chance to finish up your work and get on and do all the fun Friday stuff that I put up there. There's a field trip and there's a drawing thing. There's a word search. There's all kinds of fun things on Seesaw today for Fun Friday. So have a great Friday and I'll see you back here on Monday.